So hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Terry. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys and gals are all doing well out there. And back today with another video with some news from our friends over at Streamlabs. Now, I'm not going to get into what's been going on in, in the past with them. We know they made some kind of shoddy decisions back in the day, but they clearly have a good relationship now with the uh, the OBS team. Uh, matter of fact, the relationship is so good now, they actually have their own plugin that they've made for OBS Studio because a lot of the things that people have said, like, yeah, we, we want to use Streamlabs tools, we like the people there, but Streamlabs desktop, you know, there's Streamlabs OBS, uh, sometimes it's kind of laggy, sometimes it doesn't really work the way it should. And everybody was saying that if we could use your tools directly inside of OBS Studio, uh, we would gladly switch back to Streamlabs, you know what I mean? So they actually have their own official plugin now for OBS Studio, which is pretty cool. Uh, go to desktop view here. As you can see, they put a little thing here on Twitter talking about how that the Streamlabs plugin for OBS projects is now official and live for all users. Uh, directly inside of OBS now, you'll have access to your Lurch, Widgets, Overlay, Stream Labels, CloudBot, and more, which is pretty cool. Now, a couple of these features, like, like the CloudBot, you still have to open up a web browser to access, but I'm sure later on, they're going to just you know implement more features into this plugin, so that's kind of cool. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just dive right into it here. Okay, I already have it installed here on my session of OBS Studio. Now, as per usual, same thing with the Stream Elements plugin. Whenever you first open up OBS Studio after installing the Streamlabs plugin here, you'll have to log in IA via Streamlabs, or I just went ahead and selected my Twitch account. Uh, then after that, it gave me access to these tools right here. Now, keep in mind here, folks, that this here just came out, so I'm sure there might be some bugs, but the only ones I really uh, come across myself is that the overlay uh, doesn't want to load up sometime. Um, same thing for widget themes, but stream labels, though, that is functioning. For CloudBot, you just click on this button here. It will take you to your web browser. Then for tipping, you can go ahead and set all that stuff up right here. But if you already set this kind of stuff up inside of your web browser, it's not a problem. Don't even worry about it. Same thing for multi-stream here. But as far as widget goes, uh, the way it works here is that let's say that there's one you uh, like, right? So I'm going to go ahead and add a uh, chat box to my stream here, okay? Now it says that the chat box widget has been added to the current scene, which is literally exactly where I want it right here in my intermission screen, right? So I'm gonna go and just put it right over here or something. And if I type in chat, you'll see it populate the chat box. And then of course you can go ahead and double click it and you could set it to whatever size you want, the properties, all that kind of stuff like that there. And then of course, if you wanna change how this thing looks, all you have to do is go back up to the Streamlabs tab here, Go ahead and hit on settings for the chat box and it'll take you to your uh, to your web browser. Now, unfortunately, I, I wish that uh, you would be able to do all this stuff inside of the plugin directly. But as we all know, this is brand new. So hopefully that kind of feature will get added at a later date. And as far as performance goes, how does this maybe compare with Streamlabs desktop? Well, here's the thing, okay, folks. Right now, I actually have two sessions of OBS Studio open. So they're both using my GPU. They're both using some part of my CPU to just render everything on screen, what you're seeing here in the preview windows, all that jazz, all right? So keep that there in mind. But between the two of them, it looks like the main one that I'm using is using 15% of my uh, 4080 and about 6 or so percent at peak of my CPU. But the version of OBS that's just sitting there doing nothing, it's literally doing nothing. So like that's good i know that a lot of people were saying that oh well with streamlabs desktop back in in the day because everything was so bloated and everything was in it at one time and all that stuff that you would be sitting at you know 20 30 percent cpu usage just doing nothing like not even gaming not even live streaming just with it open so it looks like because this is a plug-in of just a regular version of obs it looks like system per performance will be greatly impacted in a very good way you know what i mean so that's pretty cool now, uh, again, there are a few bugs, as I just showed you. It looked like uh, sometimes whenever you go to click on the tabs here in the Streamlabs, you know, uh, settings here, like for widgets and overlays and stuff, they don't want to necessarily change or maybe they're just not enabled yet. So it's just not, you know, showing the change at all or, or, or anything. So hopefully they'll be able to, uh, you know, of course, fix that and add that functionality again at a later date. But yeah, again, uh, if, if, if they could make this plugin do everything that, that the website can do, but just right there locally inside of OBS Studio, I think they have a real winner on their hands. And again here, folks, personally, 
I do prefer Streamlabs. Don't get, get me wrong. Stream Elements has never given me any kind of problem whatsoever. But um, as, as far as, you know, working with a few of the, of, the, of the people at Streamlabs, they've always been extremely kind. They've always answered any kind of questions that I might have had. So and besides the way I see it is that, you know, I make videos about this kind of stuff, for you guys. So either way, even if I didn't like something, I would still use it to let you know if it's good or not. Because even though I might not like something, I can understand why a product might be good for someone else that isn't me. And either way. And but of course, want you guys and gals to know about it. You know what I mean? So I try to be completely unbiased in that regard. So that's why I'm making this kind of video here today for you all. But if you want to see more content like this here on the channel, do me a huge favor, get subscribed, get this video liked. I would really appreciate it. And if you have any questions about this plugin, do me a favor, sign up in the comments below. I will gladly answer whenever I see them. And you know what? As always, again, y'all, my name is Terry. Thanks a lot for coming by and I'll catch you guys and gals next time.